Our story for today, The Patience of Job. The house just down the street and around the corner is where I, Superbook, was discovered by a little boy named Chris. Today he's discovering about the nature of things in nature. These flowers really need watering. Careful not to water them too much, Chris. Right, Dad. What you doing there, Chris? What does it look like I'm doing? Watering the flowers. Uh-oh. What's this? Hello, Joy. Would you like some tea with us? Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Peeper. <coughs> oh. Joy! No. Christopher! You're ruining the flowers. Gee whiz! It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it was? Yes, sir. Hmm. We're glad you didn't get hurt, aren't we? Uh, well, I suppose. Oh, boy, thanks, Mom. I love tea with cake. Be careful now, it's hot. Oh. My best china, Christopher. We're glad he didn't get hurt, right? All right. What a bummer. Hmm. Ah. Now what are you up to, young man? Can't you be a little more quiet? Troubles always come in bunches. Good. It's time for Super Pop. Everybody has good days and bad days, my little friend. But there was a man named Job who had more than his share of troubles. Job? Is that a picture of him? That's right. And there are three friends who came to see him when he was sick, and his whole body was covered with sores. We gonna meet him? If you like, let my light guide you. sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen. Everyone knows Job. Really? That's so. So all these fields must belong to Job. And all these people must work for him. And look how beautiful everything's growing. It's terrific. All workers working like busy beavers. Right. And they all seem to enjoy their work. See how happy they are? Look, something's on fire. Let's go see what it is. Right. And I thank thee, O Lord, for thy bounty which you have provided. 
And God, protect my sons and daughters and help them to know your love even as I do. And may we show that love every day to everyone we meet. I guess that's what's called a burnt offering. Could you tell us what that man is doing? Oh, he's doing what he does every morning. He's thanking God and asking for God's graces. In case you didn't know, that's Job. Job? Uh, yes. <gasps> Did you want me, children? Could you help us? We were looking for Job. Look no further. You have found him. But you don't look like your picture. You must be strangers here. Uh, why don't you come up to the house and we'll get acquainted? Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm starved, too. Now, Chris, you mind your manners. <laughs> I hope you don't mind waiting a few minutes. It's my youngest son's birthday, and we're going to celebrate. Of course, you're welcome to join us. Let's have something to drink while we're waiting. What do you think? Huh? Isn't it strange that Job doesn't look a bit like his picture in Superbook? Could Superbook be wrong? See what you can find that would please these young folks. Excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, mm, everything's just fine. Want to hear an amazing but true story? Oh, yes, please. We like that very much. The reason I say it's an amazing story is because I wouldn't believe it myself if it hadn't happened to me. But go through it, I had to. And I must say, I learned a great deal. About what? Hmm, about faith and patience and mostly about myself. You see, I had always been one who loved God and shunned evil. It was for that reason that I was rewarded with great flocks, I thought, and a yield of crops that more than met our needs. And children, oh, I had seven sons and three daughters. But while I was enjoying all this and thanked God for it, something was, something was happening in heaven. August presence. And where have you come from, Satan? From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And let me tell you, from what I have seen, you're waging a losing battle down there, God. Have you considered my servant Job? There is none like him, a perfect and upright man. Mm -hmm. One that fears God. No, let me amend that, lest you misunderstand. One who loves God, and all things good, and shuns evil. At the risk of sounding impertinent, that's easy for you to say. But take away your blessings, and he'll curse you to your faith. How can you say that? How can I say that? Look at the way you treat him. What do you mean? Look at what you've done. You've blessed the work of his hands, and his substance has increased in the land. What would you have me do? Withdraw your blessings and he will curse you. Take my word for it. Who knows more about human nature than I do? After all, I am the prince of darkness. I see you're challenging me. All right. All that he has is in your power. But only upon himself, but not your hand. That's all I need. We'll see who's right. I'm sure we'll have another great harvest this year. I hope. It's all because you all have worked so hard. Master, there's terrible news to report. What news? There were many raiders who ravaged your fields. What are you saying? We were all working as usual. There was no thought that anything could go wrong when suddenly, out of the north... <laughs> Sabians have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and only I alone am escaped to tell you. It is unbelievable. What is? Believe me, the fire of God has fallen from heaven and killed all your sheep and servants before they knew what was happening. But 
I am left to tell you. Thank you, my boy. Hmm. What a terrible wind. We must get to a safe place. In one day, I've lost everything. Now we'll see. <laughs> Could you believe it? I lost everything. My family, my livestock, and my farm. Oh, what a blow. How could anyone possibly go on living? What happened then, sir? How'd you manage? Surely you must have blamed God for all that. No, child. As a matter of fact, I prayed to the Lord. Naked came I into this world, and naked shall I depart. Everything that I had was given to me by God, and now, and now he has taken it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, he persists in his holy ways, does he? Well, we'll see. Where do you come from, Satan? From going to and fro on the earth. And have you considered my servant Job? There is none like him. I've considered him all right. And I say he is faithful only because his life's not been threatened. His life? His life. Put forth your hand and touch his bone and flesh, and he will curse you to your face. So that's what you believe. Well, I disagree with you, and I'll prove it. Yes? I'll give him into your hands. Very good. You may do anything you want, but... Spare his life. He may want to take it himself. Satan? Yes? Remember, anything except take his life. Yes, sir. What is... Oh, he's burning up with fever. Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen so many boils on one person. Why, his whole body's covered with them, from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head. And every day it seems to get worse. I, I don't see how he can go on living. Don't you speak, my friends. You just sit and grieve for me, and you have reason. <laughs> Let the day perish wherein I was born. In my mother's womb, I should have perished. <laughs> I'm surprised at you speaking against God that way. He knows who should be born. You must have sinned in ways we knew nothing of. And now God is punishing you. Perhaps you have sinned against God and have not confessed it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, confess your sins now. Oh, that my grief and calamity were thoroughly weighed. Tell me my sins. Then teach me wherein I have erred. 
How much must man suffer to see his home destroyed, his loved ones slaughtered, his flocks reduced to naught? How can one contend with God? One cannot even see him. <laughs> he is strong. Let him finish me and my sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Now my soul is weary of my life. <laughs> I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say unto God, do not condemn me. Show me why you put up with me. You know that I am not wicked. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. <laughs> A light from on high. <laughs> Stand like a man. While you have not condemned me, you have questioned my judgment. Now let the light of understanding so fill your being that you may know the limits of man's mind and know in whom and in what to place your faith and trust. Lift up your eyes unto the everlasting and be as one raised on high. <laughs> Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth, when the morning stars sang together? Have you entered the springs of the sea? Or have you walked in search of its depth? <laughs> and who broke up the seas with bars and doors and said, this far shall you come, but no further. And have you any idea how large the earth really is? How would you take the measure thereof? Oh. 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 To satisfy the desolate and waste ground, to cause the bud of the tender earth to spring forth, who caused it to rain on the earth? that contends with the Almighty instruct him, how do you answer? Complete is my faith in the living God whom I shall ever worship. I know now that you can do everything and no thought can be withheld from you. Your patience, your faith, and your sincerity make you a true man among men and my worthy servant, Job. Praise God. Oh, all of Job's boils have disappeared. It's true, he's been healed. Miracle. We should have known God would reward his faith. Of course, with our Lord, nothing is impossible. We are his creation and he cares for us. All of the suffering that Job had to endure was just God's way of helping Job to become more understanding, more faithful, and more patient. May his suffering help all of us. Let us thank God for showing us the way.
And that, children, is the true story of my life. Oh, of course, I haven't lived all of my life yet. I expect there will be many more years, years in which to fully enjoy all of God's blessings, for, in truth, he doubled everything I had, plus more wonderful children. Oh, that's a wonderful story. <laughs> oh, wow, it must be great to have so many brothers and sisters. Children, I want you to meet our guests. Let's see now, their names are Chris, Joy, and Gizmo. There's plenty of food, so all of you just help yourselves. I'll do that. Oh, no, you don't. Gizmo, you forget that a machine can't eat a drumstick, but I can. Oh, sadness. Mm. I'd say that from the looks of your clothes, you're strangers. Yeah, you must have come a long way. Well, how'd you make that dress, Joy? Would you show me how? Where are you three going from here? Well, I mean, I think this food is terrific. <laughs> we hate to eat and run, but we really must be going. Thanks for a wonderful time, Job. You're welcome. We hope you'll be back. We'll try. Bye. Bye now. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. Chris, if we get married when we grow up, do you think we could have as large a family as the family Job has? But do you think I'll have his patience? Hmm. Keep along the rainbow road Through the sky 